Hi, we are parents of Lekna. She is in third standard. Uh, today we have been, we visited her science fair, and uh, she presented about uh, medicinal leaves that are used daily. We like that really that presentation, and uh, almost every parent uh, uh, went through that, and uh, everybody liked it. They had a lot of questions. Uh, it's and we like that really that presentation, and uh, almost every parent. Uh, uh, went through that and uh, everybody liked it. They had a lot of questions. Good to see that kids learning uh, things which are around them and their medical uses and uh, explaining it to uh, you know parents and elders. Not only uh, we understood what it is all about and how good are these, but uh, the depth of knowledge they got by doing this and uh, explaining it to uh, you know parents and elders. Not only uh, we understood what it is all about and how good are these, but uh, the depth of knowledge science fair is incredible. Uh, we expect that you know Sadhana will continue to do this thing every year or periodically if possible, um, at least once or twice in a year, so that uh, kids learn things uh, much deeper. And uh, by making models, they are feeling that uh, they they are experiencing that, and then. Uh, once they explain it to others, it enhances their knowledge and depth of knowledge. Um, we are really happy that uh, Sadhana is doing this and we encourage Sadhana and uh, management, Sadhana's management to do more of these things so that kids uh, increase their knowledge and uh, their presentation skills, which are very useful when they grow up and take up some uh, jobs and their, you know, their livelihood. I'm Trishul Patil, father of Kushal Patil. He's in 1B. Firstly, I would like to thank and congratulate all the management and supporting staff who has been, who are having such platforms uh, to allow these young kids uh, and providing a platform for them to do little experiments and then, and then I'm sure this will definitely enhance their logical thinking as well as their presentation skills. So kudos to all the management and supporting staff. It's, a, it's an exceptional work and I'm very happy that my kid has presented it so very well. Thank you to Bila ma'am, Swati ma'am or Shweta ma'am and, and all the all other supporting staff. Thank you very much. Uh, I'm Krishna Mohan, Chartered Accountant, uh, father of Saket Ram. We attended the at science fair today. Uh, the science fair went very well. Uh, including uh, other students also uh, fared very well. They had the, the new concepts, new ideas of science fair. Uh, it reminded us of our also old school days and uh, we, enc we encourage the school to conduct such science fairs more frequently. Good morning everyone, my name is Pooja and uh, I am a mother of Park who is studying here in CBSC 1F and today we are here to see the science exhibition and uh, all the exhibits they have presented it very well and the uh, and teachers and staff they have taken um, very much effort to um, for children to make the, all the arrangements and children are very nicely exhibited all the ex exhibitions so thank you thank you sadhana infinity international school and we are very much impressed with the, all the arrangements and with the kids thank you hello I am Sarah Sakfira from grade 9 and today I have set up a chain reaction which has three events. If the first event is successful, only then the next event will be successful. So here I am trying to demonstrate the domino effect which is a mechanical effect in which a single falling domino causes the fall of all other dominoes on the board. So I will flip one domino here. So good morning everyone, my name is Rosina Poppy Paul, I am from grade 8B and this is my science fair project. It has uh, stated that by 2050 we will have more uh, plastic pollution which will cover the water bodies than fishes and uh, aquatic life. So to stop this scientists are trying to come up with solutions. One such solution is called the Great Bubble Barrier uh, which was started by three people in Amsterdam. So over here we have a small scale uh, model of it. So the Great Bubble Barrier, what the uh, thing about it is, they have perforated tubes that have been put on the uh, bed of the river bodies. So now if they imagine there's no uh, bubbles coming up, if I throw, if I throw a bottle in there, 
then it will directly go and it will join the other pollution but since the bubble is there it acts like a barrier now if i throw this the it won't go all the way there it will be stopped there since the barrier is there and since they will will be having a segregation area where with the help of the bubbles and the help of the flow of the water the plastic waste will be segregated we can stop using the one use plastics we can uh, bring our own water bottles we can uh, try to find ways to do such things to uh, save our environment and we can uh, uh, raise awareness on this topic